Hi, this is Nidal Kardia with EDAC Publish. Today we'll be talking about FileZilla. FileZilla is a uh, software that's used for uh, uploading uh, graphics and files and music and data to a website. Typically it's used uh, by a, the end user uh, who's sending the files for a service bureau to do either uh, printing photos, uh, duplicating CDs or any large files that can't be sent via email. So let's get started. Uh, uh, our company is e.publish.com and we have a link on our download uh, link which is at the top right corner of the screen and this link uh, shows the templates and the order forms but at the bottom as you can see here uh, it says FTP software FTP client filezilla for Mac and PC. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the link and uh, see where it takes. Okay, we are at the uh, FileZilla website and as you can see you have options to download the uh, Mac operating system, Linux or Windows. Uh, we're going to use the uh, Mac uh, for this uh, video and we're downloading the Intel base Mac. You can download the PC, PowerPC base. So if you click on it and you're going to get a dialog box that says uh, downloading and once uh, you see it, it downloads here and I'm going to save it to the, the desktop or actually the download folder. So we hit OK and as you can see I've downloaded it before as a trial and now I'm going to download it a second time and it looks like it's done. This is our download uh, folder on the Mac and uh, as you can see it, uh, it shows you the, uh, uh, the file itself. So if I double click on the file it will open it uh, and will create an icon. Uh, this particular icon now is ready. If I click on it it will launch the FileZilla. So just double click on it and you are ready to go. So by clicking on this application, you'll get a dialog box. It says, FileZilla is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And you say, open. Now, as you can see that the FileZilla is open and uh, the uh, software is ready. Uh, and all what you have to do, uh, whatever the company name that you're sending it to, you just type it in here. In this case, we're going to type edoc publish. Dot com and since we're logging in anonymous that means it does not require a username and password we're just gonna hit the button here in blue quick connect and it will connect us now we're connected to the uh, FTP server let's go to the incoming folder this is where we're gonna be dropping our files so all that you have to do open your uh, or your finder or in Windows you open the file explorer and drag the file and drop it here. Let's take an example. One second. Okay, in this case, I opened the folder for the uh, uh, download folder. It could be any folder, it could be your desktop, it could be your My Document. And I'm going to transfer a file, uh, and the file name is dvdreplication.csv. So just drag the file over the open area and drop it. and the file has been transferred. So as you can see that the file actually disappears because it allows you to put the file but you can't actually uh, see the files. Now if you scroll down a little bit what you're gonna find is there's a tab at the bottom of the file here that shows you three tabs, queued, file, failed transfer, and successful transfer. And you can see that this one was transferred and it was successful. That's the end of our uh, podcast and video recording. And we'll see you soon for our next uh, uh, software, which will be uh, recorded. And uh, you can access from our website, from the video library. Thank you and have a great day. Enjoy transferring files.